Kevin Felton. I'm a senior editor at Bike Magazine. We're at the Canyon Trails in Eastburg, Vermont. Today we're checking out Evil's new bike that's the Insurgent. You might think of this as a 650B version of the Uprising, but as you'll see, it's a little bit more than that. The bike comes in two different build kits, uh, X1 uh, kit that sells for about 5300 bucks, and an X01 kit that usually sells for $6,700. We, however, have a pair of Envy Carb wheels that boost the ticker up to eight grand. If all that sounds like it's too much for you and you just want the frame, they sell that as well for 2,800 bucks. So, what do you think? This was, for me, the most fun bike of the test. Really, of every, all the bikes you've ridden? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Why? Uh, okay, one thing, it's, 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 in, it's, it's impressively light. It's uh, about, 29 pounds. about 29 pounds. About 29 pounds. And I mean, it, they, it does exactly what I think you should with the geometry, uh, sub 17 inch chain stays. Uh, the, it has two bottom bracket settings. Um, a low and an extra low. Yeah, which, which hopefully won't lead to any confusion. There's not gonna be people calling them up and saying, can I get the medium height one? <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's like, look, we do our bottom brackets low, deal with it. Right. And, and uh, I, I preferred it in the higher setting. Um, uh, it gives you a, what a 60, 60. 65.6 in the in the higher setting. Yeah. So it it's like real confident, really nice at high speeds, but still light, easy to throw around, real playful. Yeah, I mean it's it felt to me on the descents like I want a mountain bike to feel. It was. Super confident, but also it's a it's a short chain stay. It's really yeah, compact. Sixteen point so nine inches, right? It's easy to whip it through tight turns, and it, it corners really well. Um, but it's a slack front end, so it, it doesn't hesitate at all at speed. And um, man, I had a really good time jumping on this bike in the bike park. It felt great, really balanced, and yeah, the lightweight is awesome as well uh, in the air. Uh, climbing, I did not get on with this bike very well. Hmm. Really. No, and I think um, it's a result of the slack seat tube angle. Yeah. Ah, which gets us to that. So it's 72 degrees. 72.6 or 72 something. 72.6 degree seat angle. And that, a couple years ago, was the norm yeah. for all mountain to gravity bikes. I was even kind of on the steep. There was stuff that was sub 72. Um, it took me a little bit initially, first little bits riding it to get around that, uh, just because the combination of a super short seat stay, or chain stay, and a slack seat angle, the bike is very easy to wheelie, it's very easy to pull the front up, and you kind of have to be mindful and slightly reposition yourself on it. It's, it also changes the entire front center dynamic a bit by kind of pulling the front end back into that relaxed seat tube some, but that kind of makes it feel a little more compact when you're not sitting climbing. and. I'm, I'm a member of the short femur club, and that did bug me. But the other aspects of it in terms of climbing, pedaling, and the way that it pedaled, and the way that suspension works, uh, for being as plush as it is going down stuff, I was riding it full open going up things, and it is a very capable, very efficient suspension when you're turning the pedals going up stuff as well. But yeah, I was blown away by the bike. It's a six inch travel rear suspension, right? 150 millimeters. I actually felt like it, it felt like I had more to be. This felt like one of the the deepest suspensions. And not like that it's just ramping up, but like really deep, long, usable travel of all the bikes we tested. Did you guys have any, did you feel the same way or did you disagree? I, yeah. I bottomed it out, I don't even know how many times, because I didn't feel it once. Mm -hmm. But the O-ring, I kept putting the O-ring back on mm -hmm. and it would, at the run, it would be right back off. And but you weren't having I didn't any feel harsh a single bottom harsh bottom now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Really good. There's one thing that I did hear you guys talk about, and that was noise. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, there was some. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> what? 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 Well, I was having such a good time, I kind of forgot. I, and I totally spaced it out on my review and everything. I didn't write about it, I didn't mention it. And yeah, I, yeah, now that you say it, yeah, it made some slappy noises. I think it was a chain slappy noise. Okay, no, but uh, really, all, uh, all bikes make a chain this, slappy noise. This so. made a little more chain slappy noise than what I was hearing off of other bikes. More, more chain slappy. 
Right. So bottom line, the chain is a heck of a lot closer to the dry side chain I don't stay. Know. You know, I it is. I'm telling you, damn it. Okay, okay, I'm telling you. In the smaller, <laughs> don't ruin this for me. I love this happen. bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a. It's not. It's. Is it breaker? Is it make or break for you guys? It's, no. no and, and 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 there's there's things you can do about it. No bike is perfect. What could be better? I mean, I touched on it earlier. I just I had a really tough time controlling the front of this bike going up steep climbs. It was. I felt like it was pretty floppy and. Part of that was because my weight was back with that slack C tube angle, um, but it, again the, the suspension was really surprisingly efficient on the climbs for how supple it is on the descents. But the geometry didn't work so much for me on technical climbs. What about components? Any yays, nays, things you liked? Didn't? I didn't like that this one was eight thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, but we touched upon that. There's a there's you can get it with uh, Eastern East Heist. Heist. Yeah. yeah. So and that brings the price down to six thousand seven hundred, which is a huge difference. Yeah. Um, but uh, and then the complaint I always bring up: it's got a hundred twenty five mil dropper post on a large bike. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's got a nice modern low, you know, kind of a kind of a frame. So it, it I I think this size bike could have could have afforded a hundred fifty mil dropper. Mm -hmm. But I don't have many complaints beyond that component. -wise. It's nice to see a standard threaded bottom bracket. Oh, good yeah. point. Because yeah. that's actually, they didn't have it on the, the following, right? Mm -hmm. They have a yeah. PressFit 92 yeah. bottom bracket on that. There you have it. Hey, you want to know more about the Evil Insurgent? Check out the full review in our Bible bike test issue. If you want to see more bike test videos, go to bikemag.com.